We have too many associations. I, I, I swear to God, every time I turn around, there's another one in healthcare. Association after association after, it, it, they are part of the problem, plus they're all globalists. So this is what the new, um, uh, this is the part of the globalist agenda, what I'm gonna show you. And um, um, it's just part of the plan of uh, destroying healthcare and forcing the socialist communist system onto Americans and part of Forcing that, again, these people weren't around, none of these lobbyist, globalist, American Nurses Association. See, they weren't around when our Constitution was written and formed. Uh, but they don't care. They just figure we'll destroy what we have to to get what we want. Because, again, there were uh, in 2020, there were plenty of doctors that were saying that everything Anthony Fauci and the uh, CDC was doing was against what they should do. But those doctors were silenced. That's been proven now because of uh, the Twitter files that released showing how the intelligence agencies were working with Twitter to silence actual medical doctors, saying we shouldn't be locking people down. We learned this from the past. People shouldn't be walking around in masks all day long. But they silenced all those doctors, good doctors, doctors in infection control, okay? But no, we were only told to listen to Anthony Fauci and CDC. Okay, so it's all part of that globalist systems. That's why they silenced those doctors because they knew that in the end, this would cause more of a disaster. Every single thing they did during COVID made more of a disaster in the end. Somehow I knew that and I'm not higher educated, but I was saying we shouldn't be doing this because it'll be worse in the end. And many medical doctors were saying that. So. But this, it was all part of the plan. Got to destroy America. Got to destroy the healthcare system. So, and the associations are doing it. So one of the things they're doing right now is going after the rural hospitals. So in um, Wisconsin, uh, in uh, Ch Chippewa Falls, and um, it was Chippewa Falls, and two hospitals are closing tomorrow. Uh, Sacred Heart Hospital in Eclair, Wisconsin, and St. Joseph's Hospital in Chippewa Falls. Basically, for the same reasons they're all saying, they use the COVID pandemic, the biggest one they use. That just, you know, no, that they needed the COVID to do what they're doing. This is all part of the socialist forcing it on us. For, and, and Medicare for all or universal health care, it's what the vets have. You don't want it, but they don't care what you want. They're going to do whatever they have to. So now the government is offering this bullshit program. A new kind of hospital is coming to rural America, but to qualify, facilities must close their beds. Yes, to see, uh, for them to be designated. And they have to be in a rural area. Um, and this is coming from, uh, you know, the, it's the government and the association's there to help them. Uh, so really, let me just tell you really simple what this is. It's an emergency room. So they close all the hospitals in the rural areas, but they create just an emergency room. So the emergency room only can treat and release or treat and transfer. And then where they transfer to is like, you know, an hour, hour and a half, two hours away. Like a woman in this article, her son had spinal meningitis. She went into this place. She said, had she known uh, she, that it was going to take so long to get her son transferred to get the care he needed. She would have just drove him the two hours away. Okay, this doesn't help anybody. This isn't what you do. But when socialists and communists are trying to overthrow you and push you into their sick system, they don't care who they harm. And this is all about money. So the hospitals have to close their beds in order to qualify. But then one designation, I think it was in Mississippi, They've re now that CMS has re reneged on it, which is Center for Medicaid and Medicare, they've reneged on it because they say that their, hosp their, their, their ER is less than an hour from a major hospital. So now they're forcing that hospital to go back to a full hospital as if they would even be able to do that. Um, and then it doesn't even matter. They changed themselves to, the, they got awarded this designation, but the community thought they were closed anyway. But then they had somehow got like six million dollars. So they said it was um, it was definitely a better program to go with. Yeah, why are they getting all that money if nobody even knows they're uh, they're open? Because it's through the government. It's the government controlling it. 
But these rural hospitals are also having trouble, and the state, itself, the county itself, has had to pay many of these hospital employees out of the state budget. So this is what happens when everybody starts going along with these associations. You know, the same bastards pushing health equity. They're no good. They're just no good. These associations always have um, these lobbyists tied to them. So one of the associations behind this is called the... Um, the um, Rural Emergency, National Rural Health Association. Yeah, another association. We have too many of these. I think many of these people, at the very least, should be fined thousands of dollars, be investigated, of course, but I would be just as happy if they went to jail. Because when you're messing with people's health and their safety by forcing hospitals to close, forcing everybody into your socialist, communist uh, healthcare agenda, because you're a globalist, then you should be held accountable for all the lives you put at risk. Um, so uh, one of the people behind this that's uh, working this program uh, with the rural hospitals is working directly with Congress, yes. Um, and the person is um, McLean. Um, Cochran McLean said her organization is trying to work with Congress to change regulations that have been barriers for rural facilities, like closing inpatient behavioral health beds that are already scarce. Uh, Miss McLean, and this is who she is. I, I, have, I have no patience for this because all these people have put people's lives at risk and it didn't need to be with this way. We had a health care fine for decades and decades until you got you brought your damn Obamacare, until you brought these socialists through um, Illinois American Nurses Association, all these damn unions. Yeah, everything was fine. And then they have destroyed it little by little with their sick illness. And they serve the money makers. And if CEOs, that if there is any hospital CEOs out there that just don't know the globalist or this is a globalist agenda, then you know what? You likely shouldn't be a leader then, okay? Because... This isn't hard to figure out in any way. It's all laid out in the Agenda 2030. So this idiot, Dr. Kerry Cochran McLean, uh, said her organization is trying to work with Congress to change regulations that have been barriers for rural health facilities, like closing inpatient behavioral health units. Um, also, the National Rural Association's Chief Operations Officer told the AP that upwards of 30 facilities are interested in converting to rural emergency hospitals this year. This, this will not help anybody. That's what I'm trying to say. It won't. It's treat and release or treat and transfer. And it also hurts EMS because of how far they have to drive um, to get people to um, a major uh, hospital facility. This is our country going backwards. But that's what people like, like this idiot and many others in these associations want to do. Because their goal is we'll do anything to destroy America. We don't care that your constitution was here long before we were fucking born. We're going to do what we have to to force you into Medicare for all. And basically the Medicare for all type system you would have is Venezuela's health system. And you can see what's happening. Venezuela has moved into our country illegally crossing the border because their health care sucks. Because of assholes like this. I, I have no patience for this because they've messed with people's lives. So a little bit about uh, Dr. Carrie Cochran McLean. Um, she joined NRHA, which is the National Rural Association, Hospital Association staff in 2020, where she is the head lobbyist for the association and is responsible for driving the organization's rural health policy agenda. Carrie has more than 20 years of experience working in federal health policy development, including leadership roles at health management associations, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, and the Federal Office of Rural Health Policy. In her previous p position, she focused on improving health care. She couldn't improve it if she tried. Um, Promoting health equity, well, that's part of the problem. The health equity is part of the health uh, racist agenda. We're going to be racism. That's never healthy. But she's just not a healthy person, not in the mind. Um, 
Yeah, so she's a huge lobbyist there. So that's the reason this is happening. The globalist agenda moves forward. I would be happy if many of the people in these associations went to jail.